Hi my angels and welcome back to my channel. So we all know summer is about the extra highlighted glowy skin. So today I'm going to show you a short video and some tips and tricks on how I like to slay my powder highlight to make it popping and if you would like to see the steps that I take then please keep watching. So first things first is you want to make sure that your contour is all sorted and bronzer is all sorted and you're all happy with that the way that it's looking. So I'm just finishing off my powder contour on my face before moving on to my cheeks. Now I like to work on my blusher first and this is basically just gonna help the highlight pop even more. So I'm taking my Freedom Makeup Palette blusher palette like this one here and I'm taking this shade in the corner which is a really beautiful coral shade and I'm just applying that to the apples of my cheeks making sure I'm happy with the color payout before moving on to the highlight. So the areas you can highlight are the tops of your cheekbones, down the center of your nose, your forehead, your cupid's bow, and also your chin. And these are the natural places that the light would hit your face. For me, I like to highlight my cheekbones, my bridge of my nose, and my cupid's bow. Now the highlighter of choice that I've gone for is the Mary Luminizer, only because this is a super, super big favorite of mine, and Generally, a lot of people have this, so I wanted to use something that everyone can relate to. I'm gonna use a mixture of two brushes. The first one is this fan brush by Real Techniques, and I'm laying it quite flat on the palette like you can see here, and picking up the product. And then I like to apply this directly onto the highest points of my cheekbones, exactly where that light would generally hit my face. And I'm also blending out the edges of where that highlight is. I'm also picking some more up as and when I feel like I need to. And I'm running this along my brow bone as well, just so that all the lines are connected and that everything is looking quite coherent. And basically these are the two areas on kind of like the side of your face that your light's gonna hit. So you wanna make sure you're highlighting those areas. Now I'm doing the same exact thing onto the other side of my face. So I'm dragging that brush all the way down my cheekbone and you'll kind of want to aim towards like your nose and that will give you the right angle and I'm also again running that up into my brow bone and I'm taking some more product and applying it to the bridge of my nose and then also onto my cupid's bow because those are the areas that I like to highlight. Now once you have got your powder highlight kind of happy with where it's all placed, I'm taking my Max Fix Plus spray. You can use any kind of fixing spray you want and what I do is I literally spray my face two to three times in those areas that we've just highlighted, focusing on the cheek area. Then taking my Damp Beauty Blender, I am basically just pushing that product into my skin. This is gonna get rid of any kind of powderiness on your skin, but it's also gonna help intensify the next layer which we put on. Here I'm just kind of blowing it to make it dry, and just before it's dried, I'm taking this Morphe brush here, taking some more product, and we're gonna basically apply the highlight onto the same areas what we applied previously. So the cheekbones, the brow bone, the bridge of the nose, and the cupid's bow. And the key for this is basically getting this product onto your face just before the MAC Fix Plus dries. And this is gonna help the highlight really stick and really be intensified. And this pretty much works with any kind of highlight that you use. But obviously the more pigmented your highlighter, the more it's gonna pop with using these techniques. Next up what I like to do is I like to spray directly onto my Beauty Blender, the MAC Fix Plus, and push that again into the skin, into the areas where we highlighted. This is gonna get rid of any kind of powderiness and it's just gonna help it kind of mesh into your skin without it looking like a whole bunch of powdery shimmeriness going on on your face. Now, one last step is to intensify that highlight one more time. And I'm taking the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist and basically I'm spraying just two sprays on the sides of my face and this has a beautiful glow to it which is going to enhance that highlighter powder even more. Here I'm just adding a little bit more blusher to my cheeks to make sure that you can still see it and this is the final result. I really hope you guys enjoyed this kind of short uh, but kind of in depth as well at the same time video on how to slay your powder highlight summer is all about that highlighted dewy skin so i really hope this helps you guys out there and i guess that's all for now and i'll see you in my next video bye